Hey, what is up, Ethereum Classic people, family, community? I have been telling y'all, I have been preaching. It is not financial advice, it was just my opinion. But do you see why I said diamond hands and buy the dip? This is the exact reason right now. You buy the dip, you let it rip. Literally, guys, we have seen the best little rally and run up in so long guys in so long and this is why I practice what I preach because now I am up tremendously guys and y'all would have been too if y'all bought the dip or diamond handed you know if you don't got the money to diamond hand and you need the funds I totally understand that there is nothing wrong with that you know you buy the dip and now you're seeing it rip and you're up tremendously hey good job guys good fucking job same thing with Dogecoin, same thing with Ethereum, same thing with Bitcoin and BTT and all these other cryptos that are really rallying right now. You know, guys, this this community isn't really just about Ethereum Classic. I know it is very based on that, but that's because, in my opinion, I really do like Ethereum Classic. It's a cheap token at the point right now. Uh, it has very, very much potential to even go higher. I mean, on the last rip... What did we see? $180 per token? So, yeah, of course I'm going to buy the dip and I'm going to diamond hand it. Yes, I am financially stable and, you know, I'm not wealthy and I am not blessed like most people that have hundreds and millions and thousands of dollars. That's not me. I work a 9 to 5 job just like the rest of people. Um, but, you know, the earnings that I do get, I put partial of it inside of my investments um, I've been trading stocks to grow more funds so I can invest more in Ethereum Ethereum classic Dogecoin and all these other altcoins that I talk about I will never talk about something that I do not own or that I don't see potential in. okay guys and like I said this isn't financial advice this is just my opinion this is just what I think on my end all right y'all don't have to listen to me y'all don't have to invest into the same things I'm investing you know, I wouldn't say listen to me at all and take it as financial advice. One, I am just a random guy that is posting YouTube videos and just making content to start a community. What I say shouldn't affect your investing life. You know, that that is something I really want to make clear. I am not, you know, eligible. Well, not eligible, but I am not responsible or liable for gains or losses. Um... If you took my words and ran with it, that was your own. Um, that was your own choice. I never said, "Hey, buy this coin. It's gonna make you a millionaire." You know, and you lost money. No, I will never do that. I will never promote buying because of the things that I say. I only say things that I would do in a position if I was in that position. Why? Because. There's a lot of misinformation and there is a lot of people that don't give information about trading or, you know, things such as simple as like I posted on my Twitter, you know, I, I, I record a little snippet about averaging down or averaging up. If your initial investment is still higher than the price it is now that is reflecting now, you know, you can buy and average down. You know, I, I did that. That's what I did in this whole dip. I've been averaging down, 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 down. Why? Because the more I see things go up, the more I want to buy it. Yes, but I have the patience to buy the dip. Um, I also do have the funds to buy on a rip. You know, there's a lot of people that buy the rip, and there's a lot of people that buy the dip. I'm just the person that does both. Um, I'm not saying you should be a person to do that. That's, that's not any way sort of what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying these are my trading um, habits that I do on my own terms and own money. Um, I don't go around looking for YouTube videos to see what the next gold mine is or what's the next boom or what's the next this and what the next that is. Uh, that's, that's not what I do at all. I do my own DD. I do my own research. I do my own homework. I look at price points that has happened in the past that I can possibly see happening in the future 
and I also do my homework on what is behind this token. Who is behind this token? Is it a good token to invest in because there's many good things said about it? You know, that that's another thing that you can take into consideration that, oh my God, there's so many people talking about it, but you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Uh, there could be lawsuits pending. There can be shady stuff happening that can lead to a lawsuit and uh, can freeze the tokens and stuff like that. So that's why I just, you know, I practice what I preach and I preach to the choir like, hey, do your homework. Do your DD, guys. That's really what's going to make your investment your investment. That's what's going to make or break you because you can buy on somebody saying oh my god this coin is going to fucking rip and what happens in the next two or three days it's on a downtrend um, I'm not saying that's what's happening or that's what's gonna happen in the future uh, it's just things happen guys things really happen we cannot predict this market this market is very volatile this market is very wild and it's spontaneous and it's crazy you know, it brings a lot of emotions out in people that didn't really think that investing was emotional. You know, you can't really trade based on emotions. Um, I only say that because if your emotions get in the way, you know, you could miss out on a buying opportunity. You can miss out on a selling opportunity. You can watch your money plummet or you can watch your money just skyrocket and rip. You know, right now, like I said, I've been practicing what I preach. Uh, these dips that I bought, trust me, I am so glad that I bought this dip. I am tremendously happy, and I have full conviction in what I have done. I am very, very pleased, and I am very happy that I did do my research, and I did do my DD. That is something a lot of people are not doing nowadays. A lot of people are going to Twitter, they're going to YouTube, they're going to Facebook, Instagram, and they're just looking for the next come up. And, you know, the come up could have already passed and they're still buying on this rip and it plummets, you know, and then you get a lot of pissed off people. Um, just like the whole thing with Elon Musk and Dogecoin, you know, people bought on the tweet. Yeah. That was cool and all because Dogecoin kept going up and up and up, but that was just really, honestly, I feel like the power of the people. That's what the people brought to the table. That's what people were listening and doing on. Um, I didn't buy because Elon Musk said so. I bought way before Elon Musk even mentioned this about Dogecoin. Dogecoin is a meme coin that I invested in because... It's a meme coin, you know? Yeah, there was a little bit of rumors of like, oh my god, Dogecoin is going to hit this, it's going to hit that, it's going to hit this. You know, I did my research. And for literally, literally at least a year or a year and a half, it just, it, it was horrible. Because I'm over here expecting a rip. I'm over here expecting thousands of dollars coming out of Dogecoin because, you know, somebody made a YouTube video. Um... Dogecoin going to hit a dollar tomorrow. Dogecoin going to hit two dollars, three dollars. You know, there's a lot of unrealistic price points or price predictions for short term time. Uh, one example, there is people on YouTube stating, oh, fucking, you know, Bitcoin or Ethereum is going to hit a million dollars by the end of the year okay look that is gonna take a lot of damn money that is gonna take so much money I'm not saying it's impossible because it all is possible time will tell time will tell with this market and how it does and how it works and who's getting in who's getting out because it all depends on new money new money is what makes these markets move all right, guys, it is new money. You holding does not affect this market. It does not affect this market in any way. It keeps the stability of a price. That's what it does do. But it does not and it, it does not affect the price by going up or going down. The only way it can go down is if there's a lot of sellers and, you know, the bears come back into play. And the only reason why it can really go up is because of all the new money coming in, new investor, new bulls, or old bulls. You know, the OGs, you know, that are just like, man, you know what, fuck it, let's just throw 10 mil in here. Let's throw a million, let's throw 100,000. 
You know, those guys, they've been trading for years and years and years, and they also do have the resources and money to actually throw at the market and, you know, play with it and just make a quick big return. I know that is not um, ideally what everybody in this market is doing or everybody in this market has. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that have made a lot of money in this market and are very, very wealthy right now just for trading crypto alone. Or, for instance, the Dogecoin millionaire, you know, he YOLO invested all of his life savings, all of his bank account, all of his checks. Uh, I've seen a post where he literally only has like $1,000 in his actual checking account um, besides paying his rent, food, and all the other resources he needs to live from day to day. Uh, I, I personally would not take that as any kind of financial advice or any kind of financial plays just from the fact that this market is unpredictable. It is unpredictable, guys. Like, yes, we are seeing a wonderful rally right now. A wonderful one. Something that has been a dream for everybody in this past two months. You know, we've seen that big, big, big just, just pull down from the market. Uh, you know, the government started putting its hands in places it really shouldn't be. They just want to put restrictions, they want money out of us, and all that shit, which I really, I really find very, very, very just twisted in a way. You know, they missed out on their trades, they missed out on making money between crypto, so they gotta take it from the people. You know, it, it should still be the power of the people. If the people want a decentralized cryptocurrency, in the long run, then it should be decentralized. You know, banks shouldn't fucking hold this shit. Uh, banks shouldn't even have a fucking play or a say so in this. That's the whole meaning of decentralized. Is nobody has their hands in it other than the creators and devs, and they can't even pull or push money in there unless it's coming from their own personal pockets. I know that uh, that kind of is. Um, a little wrong because you know they can make more coins they can push more coins out there if they really wanted to but you know it, it, if it's a really stable coin and the devs are really good people then they just won't be pumping out coins uh, and you know just making themselves millionaires and Ponzi schemes you know that's why you have to do your research because sometimes a lot of these coins that are popping up brand new they can be scam coins they can just be coins that somebody has created you don't know who created it you just know somebody said he said she said they said this they said this price they said get in at this price you're gonna get out at this price you know that 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 to me kinda sounds like you know j just a scam in the works um but <sighs> But, you know, just just do your homework, guys. Uh, the only thing I want out of all of this, out of everything from making videos, making a community, talking about this, talking about that, uh, releasing these little videos or these, um, you know, updates or these just rants that I'm going on, I just, I just want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to stay blessed. I want everybody to have these blessing in disguises and make their returns and are happy with it you know I want everybody in the end of all this to be happy and be wealthy uh, whether that's you know you're looking at wealth at ten thousand dollars or even a thousand or even five thousand if that's wealth to you then man I'm happy for you I am genuinely genuinely happy for you but that's really all I have for this video guys I am gonna keep trying to update and make more videos um, but yeah guys you know buy the dip buy the rip diamond hand sell whatever you want to do guys just know this isn't financial advice just have fun and stay golden guys stay blessed y'all have a wonderful night I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you want more of these, you know, updates and rants and this and that, go ahead, you know, just let me know in the comments below. If, if this is helping you in any sort of way, if this is giving you some kind of support in any way, you know, I, that, that's really all I wanted to do is just to be a support. Alright guys, but 
Y'all have a wonderful night. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later.